hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Mayor Hancock? Too Have bad about minute. Finn. That's Gonna miss him mind. next super mutant attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Hey. What? You need something to take the edge off. Fred Allen. Well, Hotel hello. To hook you. Everything. Here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I'll take a look, sure. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you.
walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. A friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those numbering birds out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. Hey, while you're there, could you return this book for me? It's from the library. Don't even ask how long it's been overdue. Hey, Daisy. If you hit upon something, don't bother telling me it's an heirloom. I'm probably older than whatever it is you're selling. Let's see what you got. It's a little bit of everything. When can I start? Well, aren't you an eager beaver? If you don't mind a little manual labor, and don't ask too many questions, you're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm gonna need more to go on here. You're just gonna have to trust me. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. I'll give you the lowdown. Tell me what I need to do. It's a simple job, really. You are gonna be doing some digging. I'm your guy. No one likes a brown noser. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand.
Bobby will pay us this week. I don't know, man. It's crawling with fire alerts. Bam! Bobby can take this job and shove it. filled with mire lurks. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Just tell me where to go and who to talk to. I knew I liked you. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. Catch up to you. Give yourself a bowl of noodles. You'll know. Freaks gotta stick together, and the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for who drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, man, Chuck. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth wanna drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would wanna hurt our peaceful community? The Institute of their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to get McDonough kicked in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lord head. 
but stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. Then who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! For the people! For the people! This old insane asylum up north, but it ain't abandoned. Not like it should be. Get lost! Super mutants, not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lard head, but stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny, when people are doing things they don't normally do, when family starts pushing you away for no reason, we all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Hey. Hey. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart.
Come on, you're wasting your time in that thing. Before you ask, I wasn't responsible for the decor, so I don't want to hear it. Dr. Amari. I have a lot of very precise work to do. What do you want? Hey there. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! A caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up, the world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? As it happens, I already have your costume. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvey Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the Cryo Vault and all? If I go along with this... I could use a little extra. The Shroud's motivated by justice, not caps. Please, you gotta help. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here... Some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. 
That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, a slaying in Scully Square. Calling all Silver Shroud fans, a once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. Silver Shroud costume? Hey, uh, no judgment, but ain't that a kid's show? Can't believe it. You look just like Sammy, too. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me? Show. I just Jerry had to shoot up a here. sick body snatcher over here. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? He was it's a synth? On. Yeah. Unbelievable, huh? Sammy was fine a few days ago, and then bam! He's acting funny, gives up cigarettes, oh, the booze, stops cheating on his wife. I mean, the man wasn't a saint, but he was who he was. He ain't got no right to replace him with a synth double. Look, we got to clean up here. You keep close to your nose, all right? Shit, the shroud off me? Wait, so this guy's actually... Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. Mm, you hear that? that? Sounds That's like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. 
He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of... My turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Seems like you're making a lot of trouble for something that isn't our business. Screw you. Waste the freak. Justice the good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Hey. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drums. Pull up a chair. <laughs> to feel what? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Cause we're all a little strange in here. Have you got it? 
I'm surprised to find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war, good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Bards. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Sounds like you can handle yourself. But I worry about those guys throwing a wrench in the works. If you're worried about Winlock and Barnes, don't be. They couldn't kill a squirrel with a rocket launcher. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And a bunch of caps. Bunch of caps, huh? Okay, hotshot. Price is 250 caps. Up front. There's no room for bargaining. You've got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. I'd really like to talk to you. You ready now? Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss, but I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in, and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for?
peace, brother. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then? More like a nutter. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. She's one of the reasons why this is such a great place to lie low. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My, I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. <laughs> It's tempting, but unfortunately, I'm married to the stage. Ever been to kill or be killed? Some fine-looking weapons. Yeah. Buddy McCready's got a rep here in Good Neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. Hey, you heard of University Point? No? Ain't surprising. The Institute wiped the place off the map. Stay free, man.
that a gun? I stopped by a memory den later with this girl who wants to know. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Hey. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Hey, I don't mean to bitch, but aren't you supposed to be heading to Pikmin Gallery for me? Something else you need? Looking for more work if you got any. Nothing right now, sorry. But check around the neighborhood. Always something going on. Around good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before. Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually fixing stuff over at the Hotel Rexford, or drinking that swill down at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. I'll take a look. Let me show you what I got. Hey, Rufus. Hey. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brew machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. But with all the bombs and all, done some asking around, and I think it might still be intact. Which is where you come in. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine in the basement of an old bar called Sham. When you leave town, make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big green sun. Bring it back here when you're done. How's it going? You find that brewing machine yet? Or are you just here looking for scrap? Fred, are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best, the absolute best. Before 
Before you even start, let's get to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The Hotel Rexford used to be a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now, the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up chems. So, still want a room? I don't think so. Then leave. I just clean up around here. Yes. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. Look, I know it's an open door, but it's like a philosophically open door, okay? Get the hell out. Excuse me. What? No, it can't. It, 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 it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. 200 years, and you're still perfect! How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth. The decay and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech seals experience. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You... Promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there.
You find that brewing machine yet? Or are you just here looking for scrap? 